Another, I guess, um, add on to the van. Yeah, really. little mod to make our life easier this time round. Yeah, we've, we're it's something that we've been keeping our eye on for quite some time now, and it'd be stupid not to do, to do it. So while well, the van's brand new, rather than at the end. So uh, yeah. Anyway, we have put in an order for to change out all the locks in the caravan to one key. So that's what this is. Yeah. So um, we just did the normal process like everyone, went on their website, uh, sent off the everything they needed, the photos, um, the amount of locks and everything. And then they got back to us with a quote and then yeah. we paid that and basically they shipped out our products. It was a very quick turnaround. Yeah, they're amazing customer service. Um, not even 10 days from the done it. We did 100% pay for this, so um, yeah. we don't get free stuff, anyways. Um, so yeah, this is this is it. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. These will go well. <laughs> so that's it. That's we've got a fair few keys, but there's only one of them, which is great. But anyway, I don't, haven't done any of this. I'm probably just going to unbox it and then fit one or two of them to make sure I know what I'm doing. And then I might um, do a quick little video about that. Um, yeah, also we have decided that with the tunnel boots and everything, we're changing the locks out to, or the latches out to black, uh, as well as obviously changing them out to the one key. Uh, we did get matching padlocks as well with the same key and we'll also eventually, um, they notified us and said with our titanium, uh, the front toolbox, the rear uh, bar box, and our um, battery system um, door, all those, they haven't figured out those locks yet. Uh, so when they do, we'll change all them out to the yeah. same key as well eventually. Here's the black compared to, let's say, the silver lock. Pretty cool tie in nicely with the van just to finish it off I suppose. So that is today's job. We're gonna fit out and change the locks that we've got out to one key. It'll be um make our lives a little bit easier. We've actually calculated I think we go from a heap of keys, I don't even know how many we have. Um, so... have it. To I think we go to three. three. Yeah. Um, because the front toolbox, the rear toolbox, and our battery system, they have like different keys. But to be so. honest, those the rear one and the and the battery system one, we're never really gonna open them anyway. Like once they'll just stay shut. So maybe the rear one. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. But looking at this right now, just quickly, it looks like you only just undo this one here, and then yeah, that this whole unit falls out. And then put it in and screw that back in and she's she's done and then just do a little bit of adjustment i've already adjusted all these locks um but i'm gonna have to redo that which is fine i don't take me 10 minutes anyway i'll get stuck into this so yeah that's that's one way to uh i suppose minimize just the keys and just the amount of stuff that's laying around and that's another cost but makes our life easier and and i guess it'd save a little bit of weight wouldn't it <laughs> Not having as many yeah. keys. <laughs> Not much. I had a little bit of an issue with the K door, changing out the key barrel in it. If I had have, uh, just jumped online on the one keys website and looked at their DIY videos, I would have figured it out that it was the most simplest install ever. And I made it really difficult by pulling half of the door off. That's all right. I put it all back together and literally installed the key barrel in about not even 10 seconds. 
But I've pretty much finished this whole van in five minutes. I think it's going to take longer to adjust these here to where I want them when the door's shut. Very easy and simple install. If, if you're ever thinking of doing it, just do it. So much quicker. Just finished it then. The hardest thing out of all that job was just basically lining up the latches like that behind here they, to adjust them. When you shut them, they don't pinch down too hard on the on the uh, dust and waterproof seals. So pretty quick job. I don't even know how long that took. Maybe all up half an hour. But realistically, just to fit these, probably maximum five minutes to do all of it. And even the uh, main entry door, very, very quick and simple. So thanks, 1K, for... Uh, sending us this, this stuff um, really happy with this so finally we are off on a shakedown trip with the titanium uh, and the new rig so the new um, tow, tow vehicle uh, we have pulled into Bunnings because we have just received our stone stomper finally. So now we can hit the road once that's installed. So we're gonna install it in the car park here. Yeah, just make um, it a bit easier so we're not traveling back and forward, back and forward. Probably yeah. got one vehicle, so. Just in case we need some parts. Um, and then as soon as it's on, we can hit the road. Yeah. the instructions real quick and then I'll see what's involved. installing it that took what maybe 15 minutes it's pretty hot here but the only thing i gotta do is get some conduit now that's the reason why we're at bunnings to um grab some conduit and put it through here it's not long enough no i'm just making sure it's gonna the wet or thickness yeah i reckon that'll do but doesn't that have to fit up the top behind the things did you check yeah but i've got a that's where it's going. Yeah. 3.2 meters is what I needed. We'll chuck it on and we're out of here. Jesus, nearly <laughs> put it into my throat. <laughs> You're going down that line. I was looking at the pipe.
Now these have a um, tendency to, to conduit to slide out when you drive it. Sometimes they can get right out here, but um, sometimes they just sit there and don't move. Every every van's different. Could you not put like a... So you, the other way, way around is to put a, a big roll of... Um, tape or electrical something. Electrical tape just there, so it sort of sits a bit higher and it can't go left or right. Downside about it is you've got to keep removing it. But it's too long. Move it out. That's no, alright. It's sagging a bit, isn't it? Like that. No, I'm talking about move the sides out. Pull your side out. There, and go do that to the other side. Because it's sagging a bit. It's alright. It's too long. I'll. I'll leave it, see how it goes for the day, and then I'll trim it later tonight when we pull up. Okay. Let's go. Do you have your grinder? Yeah. Probably going to need gas. Don't do jobs the day you want to leave, because oh. it is now 4 o'clock p.m. and we've got a three and a half hour drive with the kids. That's great. Is that how far it is? Yeah. We've still got to get water and fuel. I mean, yeah. um gas yeah so That's we're right. gonna be finding a camp in the dark be right. so we've ended up at lake lonsdale uh not too far from stall yeah it's it? pretty much between stall and halls gap about oh, just under halfway um yeah anyway we've never stayed here before we've always mm -hmm. seen the turn off uh cider will come here because i reckon everything around halls gap itself will be just packed so yeah wrong time of the day to be trying to get a camp in there yes yeah, so we're out here it's a free camp so I don't have to pay anything there's lots of room lots of spots and um yeah you can get vans as big as ours in here so yeah it was um yeah uh so i don't know whether we should tell you now or later or you might work it out but we probably should tell you now i forgot me uh what did i forget i left it at home yeah well, yeah, he left the drone back in Swan Hill. And so. I've been like so <laughs> wanting to drone the grampians, it's not funny. Yeah. Now, what I might do is we did do a trip um, to the grampians back just before we bought our first van. So I might put that at the end of the episode. I don't even know. I can't remember what I got with it. So I might just chuck that in. If, if I've got it. If I don't, well, it won't be there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shattered that I didn't bring it. Yeah. Anyway. I was too busy doing updates and stuff on it today, and I just left it on the bench yeah. where we've been staying. Anyways, we're going to just chill here and explore a bit of the Grampians that we haven't done. Maybe go on a hike or two and, yeah, just get out outside and enjoy the weather. Right? We've really thoroughly done the basically the from halfway of Falls Gap to the north side we've done that quite well in previous trips way before we were doing the van yeah sit stuff um we're probably trying to try and concentrate on some of the more southerly stuff this time but there is some epic things to do up on the north section there is even some Aboriginal art as well in there somewhere yeah hey well, guys. Is us for the new no for the new for the next couple of days yeah i don't think we don't know what we're doing well, this is a little bit of a trip just to get away to make sure everything's right with the van before we head off again yeah so, make sure you know lucky it wasn't our our lap because um henry would have left a drone back in Victoria. Nah, we would have turned around <laughs> anyway we'll right. show you what we get up to yeah we've got some steak cooking so we're just going for a stroll to actually look at the lake um, we're not parked on the lake. It was really windy yesterday, so we'll just go for a walk and have a look.
hopefully some of those come out. I'm pretty sure they will. Anyway, we're at the uh, Halls Gap Zoo. Now we have been here before, many years ago. I think it was... It was literally about a month before we started traveling. Louis was tiny. Maybe, yeah. Before, while well, we were waiting for the caravan. Yeah. Literally was one of the places we ducked to when, uh, when the caravan was on its way after we'd sold the house. And anyway, we we'll, uh, go in here and show you what it's like in here, because, yeah. It's a good little zoo. It is. It's got a couple of fair, or fair it's few. It's like a nice little safe zoo for like toddlers and stuff can just run around and it's, yeah, you can't lose them. <laughs> We've also got my sister and her partner and children in tow as well. There was a rhino in that, but um, the GoPro overheated, so I couldn't get it on video footage. It's right up against the fence too. Anyway, by the time I got it working again, he was long gone down the back. They're starting to lock everything up because it's getting quiet here. But um, it's been pretty good here today at the zoo. It's uh, There's hardly anyone here, which is fantastic. And all the animals seem to be coming to life this time of the day for some weird reason. I've never really been at a zoo where there's been so much activity. Seeing the wombats reminds me of when we were in Wilson's prom and they run an absolute muck down there. They go through your campsite, steal all your, <laughs> try and go through your rubbish and steal all your food. And then to see this little fellow here just having a nap. It's still a pretty warm day today, be 26 or 7 degrees with hardly any wind. That upsets me a little bit. I... It's a wedge tail eagle. I... 
he's not meant to be in there. He should be out flying. Well, fair enough if he's injured. Beautiful bird. They live everywhere around here. I remember where I, back at work, there used to be a family of about six of them. Massive birds. What does Louie have? No, Mom. What do you have? Mm, a giraffe. A giraffe? I have the cage. Uh, so we're just finished up at the zoo. We're now gonna make our way back to the caravan. We moved it closer to town to Halls Gap this morning. We moved to the plantation campground, which is another free camp just out of, oh, I think it's about, what is it, 10 Ks? Yeah, it probably would be, yeah. About Towards, maybe. So towards me, it's between, um, I'll put a map up where it is. Yeah. It's easier. So another free camp, uh, a fairly popular one, just outside of Hall's Gap. Yeah, um, we've, we've, we've gone past it quite a few times in the past and always said, let's let's stay there, some whether it's with tent or rooftop tent or whatever. So mm -hmm. finally got, got it done. There is a, there's so many other ones. We have stayed when we were, when we did rooftop tenting a long time ago, we stayed at the one called Stapleton. But yeah, that was really good. They're too. not free camps. They're all parks camps where you've got a book online. So there's heaps of uh, parks camps throughout the Grampian National Park that you can book online and stay up. But they were all booked out. So we moved early this morning in hope that we'd get a spot in this free camp, which we did. Thank goodness, because um, we did go into town and it's absolutely packed yeah i've never seen like, it that busy before. insanely packed that the caravan parks and stuff in town they look like sardine tins like it's just <laughs> packed um so yeah we're just gonna go back to the van and chill for the rest of the arvo yeah serious um, serious families up so with us tonight yeah, so they're up in Swan Hill visiting and they live down in Portland. So they've stopped by to camp with us for the night. We bought our swag down. So yeah. my sister and her partner will swag it and we'll chuck the kids in the van and we bought the cushion for the couch. So yeah, yeah the, the van's gonna have one, one two, well, three, three or five of us and, and at least three. Three, three kids. of their kids yeah. in as well, so we're gonna have a fair few kids in the kids. So, yeah. But we're just all gonna chill this Arvo and relax. What's wrong? Like, it's really campsite here at um, the plantation campground around um, yeah, Hall's Gap so it was very very busy uh, last night there's no one here again today everyone seems to pack up during the day disappear and then come back I don't know whether it's the same people or not but anyway beauty about having the van you can just leave it here and go and venture out into um, the Grampians for a couple of hours or all day or just not go anywhere at all
We are hiking from the Halls Gap, basically town centre, the Botanic Gardens. Uh, we're going to do the 2.3k loop circuit walk to Venus Baths and back. So we'll give you a look at that. Apparently it's really nice and family friendly. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We said we have to find a monkey. Ooh, what's that? And this is the one we're doing today, yeah. Glowing in the night like fireflies Blushing like the sunset in your eyes Floating like a halo paradise Somehow you make all the wrong things right Now that I got you Down, 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 down. We could burn it down, 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 down. We could burn it down, 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 down. Look at what we found, 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 found. For you, I'm always down, 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 down. We could burn it down. Bus was actually nice and small uh, for a toddler, anyways, which was good. Yeah, it's gonna make it's gonna make Dylan. take it off my hand. Louis telling a story. Um, yeah, it's gonna make um, future walks. <laughs> he's he's trying to say a bird took his ice cream, but this has never happened. So, what happened, Louis? The lid in my hand, and I eat it. It's in this just eating it. Why would like? Would you like to go head? see some kangaroos on a football oval? Yeah. What's over there? Come with me. <laughs> we have just left the campground, uh, plan plantation campground, and hooked up the van. We're gonna head off somewhere else today it's getting really busy um, and we kind of try to hide from the busyness so anyways we're pulled up at the rec reserve here in Halls Gap and there's apparently another hike you can do from here that's quite kid friendly we'll see how we go we think we know where we're going um, but yeah we'll give you guys a look 
We're just enjoying the emus running around on the oval. Yeah, I don't know where we're going today. We've got a half an idea, but that might change by the time we finish our walk. But anyway, we'll get into it. What's up there, buddy? Hello. A helicopter. A what? A helicopter? Yeah. Can't really see it, but it's up there. There's, there's a, um, so one thing Halls Gap's pretty renowned for is just the, the amount of native animals that are in this one spot. Kangaroos are abundance everywhere, and even some emus. A few goannas. What other native animals are around that you know of? Like there's, there's, there would be quite a few wombats and stuff too. Um, rabbits are not native. They're pests introduced. We've spoke about that on this channel a few times. Um, anyway, we're just going to start this walk. But like always, Louis's been cheeky and not listening. <laughs> Go. Oh. no water on this one like it's dry but since um <laughs> reviewing the walk it actually yeah does say it's best to do it during the winter which is yeah, that's fine you can't always win but it was a nice walk this morning the weather's perfect good to get louis to stretch his legs sarah's loving walking louis these days how's that going for you walking louis or carrying louis halfway no it's definitely uh, make it, making it more difficult now with him. Isn't it, buddy? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's move. We're going backwards. Back to the caravan. We're just we casually walking. Tree. Yeah, we left Sarah and Louie back there. That'll be an hour. Mm. He's probably playing in an ant's nest, getting bitten. So yesterday we decided to basically yeah, try and find a more quieter camp for um, the remainder of our, I suppose, week. Um, trial run on the van to make sure everything's sweet in the most uh, like more off gritty situation um, everything's turned out to be working spot on which is great the battery system is working mint um, being really tested that like dragging that right down to like 30 percent every day to try and see if it'll recover and <laughs> i'll just put a screenshot up here of um uh, what i took yesterday in in full sun it was doing 
if you look right down the bottom there, you'll see it's doing 1350 watts of solar. Now, the maximum amount of solar on this fan is 1400 watts, so it's basically running at somewhere around 96, 97 percent, which is um, pretty impressive. Um, and, and look at the amps per hour going in, so we'd easily be able to run the aircon based off that with no negative output on the batteries, just on solar providing that it was in the sun the whole time, which is fine. Um, the other thing too is, yeah, we've driven a little bit further than I thought we we would have done yesterday. Um, we went to a campground sort of near Bridgewater and then we ended up going, oh, yeah, and no, there's way too many people. I had a heap of motorbikes and stuff there. I thought I didn't really want to be somewhere that motorbikes were just going to be going rampant for hours on end all day. Just want somewhere nice and peaceful to hang out with the kids and try and get a few things done on YouTube and yeah, basically just chill out. So we ended up coming to yeah where I am right now and we've been here. This is the third time we've come to this campground. It's always been really good and to be honest, um, we stayed here last night. It was pretty pretty full as it is, but these guys that are staying here are actually quite quiet. They're all keeping to themselves, which is fine and yeah. It's a really nice spot, especially if you're around the Bendigo region. Yeah, I'd highly, I've always highly recommended this place and I love being here. So anyway, I'll just give you a look at what it looks like. Um, yeah, so we're just going to chill out here for two, two nights. This will be our second night here. And then, yeah, we're going to hit the road and basically head back home. And we're going to try and do the last few things before we head off again in a couple of weeks' time. So... Yeah, stay tuned to see what happens over the next couple of weeks as we as we start to gear up to get, get going again for once because I'm looking forward to that. It's been really nice being on the road the last couple of days with the kids and Sarah. So anyway, yeah, you won't see much from us over the next couple of hours or days. It's just us doing nothing. There you are, a stunner, unlike any other. On the edge of a dream life Never been a runner Held back and held it under Waiting for the right time To bring it all into the light Would you stay here by my side? If I felt like, if I felt like